Okay, so hi there. Um, in this video, we're going to continue our playlist in the fundamentals of mathematics, specifically in the set of videos that we're going to create on fundamentals of number theory under this playlist. So today we're going to talk about complete factorization. Complete factorization, shall if you want. So we know that any number can be expressed as a product of two factors. Okay, that's the that's a minimum. It can be expressed as a product of two factors. Uh, say this is a for example a prime number can be expressed as a product of two factors. Because a composite number has many factors, it can be expressed as a product of primes. Okay, so if it has a, a product or a factor of a composite number, it can still be factorized until all of the numbers that represent it are all prime. So meaning it's a product of a bunch of prime numbers. So this is stated formally in the Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Um, I will be creating a video about this in my number theory proper um, playlist. So kind of check it out. Check it out. So the process of finding prime factors is called complete factorization, or shall we say prime factorization in some books of a number. Okay, prime factorization of a number, complete factorization of a number. And there are two methods of finding the complete factors of a number. One is using a, using a factor tree, which will be illustrated in a while, and success, successive division, which will also be given in this video. So for method one, or say a factor tree, why is it called a factor tree? Because we are somehow gonna, going to create some a tree here, okay, which, which will have some branching out of, of factors. Okay, so let's start with the question, complete, completely factor 120. So we have 120 here. What we're going to do is to factor out this 120 into two by two products. So what we're going to do, um, let's make use of the easiest number, which we can be, which we can factor 120 with. Um, I'm, I, I'm thinking of two, okay? So because this is divisible by two, by our rules of divisibility, this 120 ends with zero. So yeah, it's, a, it's an even number and it can be divi divided by two. So if we're going to divide it by two, so what number? Multiply by 2 will become 120. So that's going to be 60. So we have 2 times 60 is 120. Anyways, you can find more factors higher than 2. It can be 3, 4, um, 6, 10, or so on. But um, in the end, I will promise you we will still end up with the same answers. Now, 2 cannot be factored. It's already prime. How about 60? Again, 60 ends with 0, so which means it, it is divisible by 2. So let's factor that out. What number multiplied by 2 will end up into 60? Well, that's 30. Okay, continuing the process, as you can see, we're branching out. So this is becoming a tree. 30 also is an even number. It can be divided by or divisible by 2. So what number divided by uh, multiplied by 2 will give us 30? That's 15. And 15, notice it cannot be divided by 2 because it's an odd number. The ones digit is an odd number. But notice it can be divided by 3. Because 1 plus 5, by our divisib divisibility rules, 1 plus 5 is 6, which is divisible by 3. So we're going to find a number, multiplied by 3 will become 15, and that number is 5. And we end up here, because 3 is already prime, 5 is already prime, so we end our tree when all the numbers are already prime. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is that we're going to look at all the parts wherein there's an arrow and there's no extension of the arrow. And as you can see, they're all prime numbers now. 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. So what we're going to do is to put that down and we will say that 120 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Where did I get this? 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So that's the prime factorization or the complete factorization of 120. Notice all the puff, all the factors here are prime numbers or they are primes. So since 120 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, actually um, by commutativity, whatever order I will put here, say I will put 3 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2, it's still the same, right? So the order of factors does not affect the acquisition of the prime factors or the or the factorization itself. If equal factors occur, we can actually rewrite the factors in order. We can call that representation the canonical form. And this is this is actually the, the proper way, the most proper way, shall we say, of 
writing out the prime factorization of one certain number. So using exponents, the factors of 120 can be written as 120 equals 2 raised to 3 because there are three twos here. So that's 2 raised to 3 using exponents times 3 times 5. So this is what we call the prime factorization of 120 in canonical form, okay, which is the, the proper way of writing it, canonical form. Okay, so that's our factor, th factor 3. So let's move on to our method number 2, which is successive division. Actually, very similar with the method 1, but only with a different way of doing it. So we're going to factor the same number still. That's 120. And we're going to write 120 here. What we're going to do is to divide 120 by the nearest number that we can think of, or whatever number that we can think of. So I'm still thinking of the smallest possible integer, which is 2. So I'm going to divide that 120 by 2. So 120 divided by 2 is 60, okay? And then continue the process, okay? The smallest number that I can still think of is 2. So 60 divided by 2 is 30, okay? Again, I'm going. I'm thinking of 2, but you can think of any number. I, I mean, 30 can be divisible by 3 or 15, okay? Or, or 10, okay? So you can just, you know, use your imagination about this, but I'm still going to use 2. But I'm, I'm, I promise you, um, whatever factor you're going to use, provided it's correct, okay, we will still end up in the same answer. So 30 divided by 2 is 15, and we'll say 15 is divisible by 3, so let's divide 15 by 3, and that's going to give us 5. And since we, are, we ended up in a prime number, we stop here, okay, because it's already a prime number. 5 is a prime number. So therefore, we write it as this. All the divisors here those are the factors actually the prime factors of 120 okay so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 so it's still the same way of writing it okay or the same factor that we have we had in our fact in our method 1 in our factor 3 and using the canonical form we have the same answer 120 is equal to 2 cubed plus 3 or rather times 3 times 5. Again, 120 equals 2 cubed times 3 times 5. So either way, the two methods ended up in the same answer. Um, it's really up to you what to use, whatever you're com comfortable with. So provided it's, yeah, it's legit, okay, or any other math techniques that you can use, provided it uses up um, rules in mathematics. So that ends up our video in complete factorization or prime factorization. Um, I hope you had learned or you have learned something from this video. And if you have some, again, if you have some um, problems in understanding this topic, you can always replay and rewatch this video um, you know, a, a hundred, a thousand times you want or you need to. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you would like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.